Hey Harm Risers, we are somewhere new with Elon. We are at the Lion's Horse Park. And this was, was a pretty cool park because we have this dressage ring to practice first where I took him around, did some flat work. And here you can see we're struggling with our right lead still a little bit. He got the left lead there and then he gives me a bit of his right canner lead here, which remember this was only his first week learning how to do canner. And then he kind of breaks to trot in the corner because he gets a little bit unconfident as he's riding in a new ring and tries to give me the left lead a couple times, but I just kind of wait for him to be better set up with his uh, shoulders out of the way. Then we go ahead and get that right lead again. So that was kind of neat that we could practice doing some flat work out in a ring and then we went on to play with their obstacles after the fact. But here's just a little bit of us working on our right lead canner. So the right lead canner is definitely getting a lot better. And this is just week one of working on that canner. And then uh, this was on the Saturday. And then we went to an extreme cowboy show for the very first time on the Sunday, which I'll show you guys in a different video after the fact. So this was really my opportunity to set him up for success and practice doing different obstacles here at the horse park but also to start practicing going a little faster between the obstacles as well so there we had a little bit of a rock scramble type obstacle and i'm still giving him cookies after most of the obstacles because i want to make sure he's super motivated and thinks that this is the best thing ever and then this one i was actually a little bit nervous coming into this one because it's a white tarp and tarps can be kind of crinkly sometimes horses can find them scary and even though Elon is a total superstar I wasn't really sure how he would react because this was our first time doing one with me on his back here and they can be a little bit iffy so he did that really well he's going to earn a cookie there and I did do a bunch of these obstacles more than once to make sure he was super relaxed and good with them but wanted to keep this video a reasonable length of time so kind of skipped um, some of our repetitions but just so you could see some of the different things that they had at the park this was a pretty cool one it's just um kind of wood planks on the ground there but it makes it a bit of an L shape so you have a kind of a lower bridge type platform and then you can go on to the bigger bridge and turn and this was all his first time doing these obstacles and the fact that he can go slowly and calmly through them to actually get that turn is really really good in contrast Alicia also came to this obstacle play date and the first time that she did that obstacle she couldn't turn in time she kind of went forward off the edge of it whereas Elon's such a slow thinking kind of horse that it works to our advantage there. So he kind of jumped off the side and then I just repositioned him to put his feet on the platform because he thought he maybe wouldn't go off of it instead. So here, trying to practice some speed between the obstacles and then coming up to this little liver pool boxy water thing. I think it's like a sand box typically, but it's filled with water instead of sand. And of course, Elon comes up to it, has to give it a little drink first to make sure it really is water. And I'm asking him to go across it there and he's wanting to give it a good sniff. So I'm kind of politely encouraging him, uh, clicking to him a little bit, but ultimately allowing him to take his time. It's kind of a fine balance of getting them to rush along because when we go to competition, he obviously can't stop and splash in the box or drink it or things like that. He's got to do it a little bit faster, but I don't want to rush him too much that he jumps through it and has a, a bad experience. But he went through it, and that can be kind of a, a scary box for horses to do. So I'm pretty happy with that. Here's another little look at doing a little bit of that right canner lead as we come into the next obstacle and doing a bunch of different things and repeating that little water box there, which this time he goes right through like a total superstar. So he's definitely going to earn a cookie for that. Definitely a cookie-worthy obstacle. And we had an opportunity to practice quite a few different skills. Here's a pickup and carry. And I wasn't sure how he was going to be for this one because he can be a little bit funny picking up new things for the first time. Or like he was pretty scared of the flag, for example, when we were first training on that. So I wanted to make sure we were safe and just kind of pick it up and put it down, make sure we were okay with that before I asked him to walk with it. And of course, he was really, really good with it. He was 
a little bit paying attention, a little bit worried. You can see his ears to the side. He's kind of thinking, all right, but he's not super scared or anything like that. He's just kind of like, okay, like, what are we doing with this thing? So I'm just going to speed up his walk. This is two times the speed. So I just sped it up a little bit as we walked over to the other barrel. But I was really happy how he side passed over to the barrels really nicely, comfortable getting close to those different objects. So I decided to hop off him for this next obstacle because this next obstacle, ox, obstacle, gosh, goodness, can't talk today, uh, is a kiddie pool that's dug into the ground. So this is really hard for horses. T kiddie pools are hard for horses anyways, but the fact that it drops into the ground, so there you can see Elon went to kind of put his foot down, and because it's dug into the ground, he had a sensation that he was like falling. So he jumped instead. So this time I just asked him to try again and he steps down into the pool pool and you can get a really good glimpse there of just how much they kind of sink through in that. So I wanted to do that first, just in case it went bad. I'm going to hop on him again because it's such a high level of difficulty obstacle. Even horses that are well schooled on obstacles would find that one particularly challenging because you step down and because of the water, you don't really know how far you're going to fall. So it's really, really tricky. And then, of course, Elon is trying to splash a lot in the pool. And I have to kind of convince him, like, we're not really supposed to do that when we go into the obstacles. We're supposed to just keep walking. But I don't want to give him a hard bump and punish him or anything like that. I want to make sure he knows he's a good boy for going into that kiddie pool. Even the uh, park owner said, like, wow, I'm impressed that he went through that because there's lots of horses who struggle with that, even horses that are well-trained, experienced, show obstacle horses struggle with this one because they have to step down into that pool and before stepping back up. So he did that really, really well, really, really calmly and learned that pretty quickly. So I'm really happy with that. Same thing with these pool noodles. At first he was unsure and didn't really know what to do. He didn't realize he could push them. And he goes through them and they really, they goes all around his body and touches butt and everything, which is something that he didn't have a lot of confidence with. So I was really happy that he figured that out and was so confident uh, going through there. He goes through slowly and the noodles really kind of press him all over and he was able to be okay with that. I think they're closer together so of than ours too. cookie worthy obstacle again. <laughs> Here's a little look at going through their curtain which was some black fabric and I was asking him to go between the fabric and not kind of cheat and go through the bigger opening and then he was stopping to get his treat there which I'm totally okay with because it means that he's trying and he's understanding the pattern his rope gate I'm just going to speed it up this is two times the speed just because it goes a little bit slowly we kind of do every step carefully along the way and that's a brand new skill that he just recently learned. So doing that rope gate, he did really, really well. And then coming into this rain jacket, it was uh, kind of stuck on the peg. So I didn't end up taking it fully off of the post, but I wanted to practice kind of picking it up, flapping around him. I wasn't sure how he was going to react because the flag was something that was so scary for him when we first taught that. And this is kind of a more crinkly material. And of course it's a different color and it's longer, it's different, so I thought maybe this might be an issue. But to my delight, he uh, did really, really awesome with it. And that's me trying to take it off, but I'm like, eh, it's going to be a little bit too tricky to do that. So I end up kind of putting it over him, asking him to take a step or two with it there. Job. And just giving him a cookie <laughs> off of that. So I'm feeling really good at this point, heading into his first Extreme Cowboy competition. And uh, pretty excited for everything that he's doing. And happy that that right lead's coming along a lot better. And of course, that he's doing well with all of the obstacles. So thanks for watching, guys, and wish, wish us luck at the horse show.